Hello, I'm Michaela, and this is my review of The Stranger in the House by Sharula Penner and I'm going to go straight into it and if I keep looking to the side I do have notes and this book is about a woman named Karen who wakes up in hospital not knowing how she got there and she lost control of her car causing a severe concussion. The police believe that she was up to no good and a husband doesn't believe that but a best friend thinks otherwise and it's all about all that fun stuff about crime and stuff like that. Um, I liked the story overall and I thought the pacing was quite good. It wasn't too quick or too slow for me to really enjoy it. I found it very easy to get into just like our previous books. It wasn't too confusing but you do I feel Karen's frustration with herself for not remembering anything. I enjoyed the dialogue and found it very um, realistic and I think it helped the book quite a lot. I found Karen and her husband very realistic as well. I found them mostly quite relatable and weren't boring at all. Karen's best friend though um, was completely crazy I thought. Um, and I think she made a lot of stupid decisions. And if none of the characters are perfect, we've all made mistakes. But at least with Karen you can understand some of her actions. And the same applies to like a friend as well. I mean, I don't like a friend at all. I don't agree with what she's done either. But you can understand some feelings and things in there. But this book just as much as the first one that you wrote and I do find out a lot of the plot points before the end of the book so it's not a massive reveal at the end but and it's more about the journey as well of little bits coming up here and there and slowly figuring it out over time I'll definitely be reading the next book which is currently out in hardback but I'm going to wait until the paperback back comes out because I only like reading them in, in paperback and I gave this 5 stars on Goodreads um, and I can definitely recommend it.